The time has officially come. I am moving out of my childhood home. <laughs> bedroom in particular has been through a lot. It's been through my young age where my room was like princess themed, this whole purple phase when I was obsessed with Justin Bieber, the awkward teal phase, plain white walls, the LED light phase, the quarantine phase, and alas, the viral Pinterest phase. You guys are obsessed with this room. I'm obsessed with this room. This room got me a 1.8 million view video. And it's time. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to move on. And it's time for me to get my own apartment. I could not be more excited. I am ecstatic. I am 20 years old and I am moving to Vancouver. I know there was a lot of questions around this. A lot of you guys were asking me if I was gonna move to New York or LA or Vancouver, but I decided that Vancouver would be my home for the time being. I don't know how long, maybe a year, maybe less if something changes, maybe a little bit longer, but I feel like Vancouver is a good first start. I'm only gonna be moving around 45 minutes away from my current home right now. The place is beautiful. I'm not gonna show it to you yet, but this is the beginning. Before we continue, if you don't know who I am, my name is Fernanda, welcome to my channel. Channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you're interested in watching these videos because I am going to have a whole series and a whole new era to myself. I feel like this is going to be really a new chapter. I'm just so excited to take you guys on my next little adventure of independence. Guys, how frightening. Like I said, this bedroom's been through a lot and I have one of those problems where I can't throw anything away. So I have a bunch of stuff, so much clothes, so many knickknacks, so many beauty products. It's insane. So we're first going to start in with the packing process. <laughs> So the first thing I did to start packing up my life was start off with all my clothes. Now I have an excessive amount of clothes, so this was really difficult for me and even then I couldn't get all the clothes that I wanted to, but I folded them all up in these plastic little bins and this took so long that this was all I had energy for this day, so... show you guys just me packing all my clothes but because I didn't move that same day now it's gotten like just as messy with all the stuff that I've used so today we're gonna get it all done now the first thing we actually really need to do is go get some boxes because I do have those clear boxes also my voice I am sick right now let's pretend we don't notice that but the clear boxes that I have are good but I I really want the boxes just because I feel like it'll look good for the thumbnail I'm being honest, it'll look good for the thumbnail. And I feel like it's more like moving vibes. Like it's not like plastic bag, it's like it's like boxes. Like, I, I don't know, okay? So we need to go to the store and pick those up. Also because I don't have enough plastic bags. My mom just went to the store and she's gonna come back and pick me up. While I'm waiting for her, I'm gonna clean up my whole makeup vanity area and see what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. Because I'm very lucky that my family is letting me keep my room the way it is basically and just take with me whatever I wanna take and whatever I don't wanna take, I can leave here. So I do have the luxury of just picking and choosing what I want to bring and it's, it's great. I feel like I'm gonna be a minimalist. But anyways, let's start doing my vanity. It's literally a disaster right now because I took everything out of the place that it belongs in. There's still such a long way to go but my mom just came home so we're gonna go buy some boxes and then come back. Now I'm at this like U-Haul place and I don't actually need a U-Haul because I don't think that I have that many boxes but I do want to get a picture here just for the thumbnail so my mom's going to take some photos of me. My home entrance looks crazy right now with all my packages that have came in the mail. I've got packages from Amazon, I've got packages, well, from everyone, but you guys are not gonna see me unboxing in this video. about it. Are you excited? <laughs> He's 
kind of the devil. Like his nails are so long, they need to be cut. Oh, Mishi. Oh, Mishi. You're so excited. Are you excited, little dude? Then I proceeded to keep on cleaning my room. I started off by taking all the decor that I had on my walls and wiping them down just so that when I got to my new apartment, everything would already be clean and dusted. And then I still had so much stuff, I didn't have enough boxes, so I used suitcases. And you can literally see in the corner, the wheel is broken, so this was a not really good idea at all. But I packed a bunch of books and like knickknacks in here. And while I was doing that, my dad was kind enough to help me load the boxes in the car that were way too heavy. Sneak peeks is actually for my office, so I'm super excited about that. And then I proceeded to bring all these boxes downstairs which were super heavy because they were full of like glass and decor and all these boxes that you see here are like packages that I've ordered that I haven't even gotten to open yet but you guys will see it in an upcoming unboxing moving video <laughs> This moving process has been so hard because I have so much stuff. It's actually insane. I have so much PR. I've actually already gone through multiple rounds of my friends coming over and me being like, take whatever you want. And then my mom inviting her friends saying, take whatever you want. We've already done that with clothes and like multiple times. And I still have so much. And I'm gonna show you guys all the PR boxes I have because I'm taking over to my place, like the stuff that I'm gonna use, some backup products, some products for like if guests come over. And even then there's still stuff I'm not gonna be able to take with me. So I might just like donate it all. Literally all that clothes is still stuff I need to get rid of and here we have a bunch of packages of PR like just so much stuff this is what I'm taking with me and it's it's still a lot I'm just going through this bag right now and seeing what I want to take with me Okay, my dad said that he's filled up the car with a bunch of boxes and just like one more tiny little box fits. So I think I'm gonna package up all my jewelry and get that going. Day three of me packing. Let me show you what we've got so far. I've done a little bit off camera just because I needed to power through it, but let me show you. This is what the room is looking like right now. It is an absolute disaster, but I've cleared out a bunch of things. My cat is so confused on what's going on, but I've got boxes and boxes everywhere. <laughs> ordered cutlery and plates and cups and all that kind of stuff but I'm just gonna take a few things for my home already and a lot of like health stuff that I have like I have a lot of like chlorophyll and vitamins and like powders and stuff also my mom is gonna let me borrow just a few plates and a few utensils so that in the meantime I have something to actually use while everything is coming in so let me show you what I'm bringing with me I have some water bottles I have this that I bought from Ikea a while ago and then some of my plates I have this cutting board just my water bottle my protein powder and vitamins and then like a matcha and all these and health things that I have and some of my spices. I'm gonna go get a matcha and like ice caps for my parents and me because I am so freaking tired of moving. I did not realize how much effort this was gonna be. I'm hoping that today I can go and like bring stuff to the apartment. I probably won't show you guys that because it's a surprise but we're gonna be in the Starbucks lineup and it's probably gonna take a really long time so we might do a little a little reflection on the moving situation. Starting off with right now. How do I feel about moving? I bet you guys maybe are wondering. Actually you might not be wondering but how do I feel about moving? To be honest I think it's really really sad. I like it's sad it's sad to be leaving my family home my parents my brother where I live in Vancouver rent and just housing prices and just living expense is just so expensive and normally people here like this is normally not all instances but a lot of times people live at home until they're done their degree or they're done with their schooling pause that thought I'm at Starbucks right now hi can I just have a grande iced matcha latte thank you yeah that's all perfect I'll see you here though thank you that one is for my mom. Okay, got the goods. Gotta give it its initial sip. Fire. Anyways, as I was saying, most people move out when they're like 23, 24, like after their degree. If I wasn't doing YouTube, that would be the case, okay? Because I am, obviously, I am so lucky and so fortunate that I'm able to move out much sooner and I'm like really excited my parents would welcome me with open arms in their home for as long as I wanted to so it kind of feels like I'm cutting it short like I'm just like leaving so sudden when like they probably would have preferred me to live there a few years longer and it's kind of sad to think that like once you move out like you're probably not moving back into your home house so it's just like that was it that was that was the run which is super sad to think about if you really think about it but it's, like, I'm not gonna think about it too intensely because I don't want to be sad but like I said I'm only living like 45 minutes away from my house so I think it'll be fine and I, I feel like I've 
heard a lot of people actually say that, you know, their relationship with their family grows stronger when it's like, now you have to set up intentional hangouts and like purposeful meetings, not just like being in the same house all day. So that's that. I'd say it's also an investment in my content because it's just a whole different chapter of stuff. And I also have my own work environment, my office. Like I feel like I'm really used to having people help me or get things done for me. And that really changed once I started traveling by myself. And I realized I am capable of doing all this stuff on my own. And I just feel like having my own place and dealing with all that comes with adulting. I hate that sentence, but like I am just gonna grow a lot as an individual and I feel like sometimes it's kind of hard to work in my home because like there's always people doing stuff or there's people talking, people cooking. I also don't have a desk in my room and I'm like working in the living room or I'm always going to cafes. I also have a gym like literally in my building which will just give me the opportunity to go whenever I want and not have to drive there. Also walk more, attend all these new fitness gyms that I've been wanting to or take my hobbies more seriously like yoga or I've been saying that I want to go pottery painting or ceramic making in so long and now I can finally do it because it's way closer to me. Also, in the sense of my job, a lot of other people doing the same kind of stuff as me in the city than where I live right now. Also, like when there's events hosted and I'm invited, I normally have to like drive all the way out there and like it'll be so close to me now. And I keep talking about this, but the content, I don't think you guys understand. Well, you do understand because you watch my videos, but like making videos for me is a passion. So like the chance to be able to make new content kinds of content is just so exciting for me because I really feel like I've outgrown sometimes like the content that I've been doing and some of you guys have noticed it like I've gotten comments being like this seems kind of repetitive and I'm like guys I know I'm trying and I was like I don't have a new place or like a new city to do stuff in like I'm sorry guys just wait and it's been such a long time coming to find this apartment that now it just feels like a breath of fresh air and I wish that I had all the furniture just right now and I didn't have to go low-key through this whole moving process because it's not easy but whatever enjoy the process right Okay, I'm at Tim's. Hi. Can I just have one original medium ice cap? I bet a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm not like moving in with my boyfriend or moving in with a roommate or someone. But honestly, I really just want to move in by myself. And that's like my own decision. Like I just really want to have that experience and decorate it to my own liking. And also, I just feel like I'm so young right now that I have the rest of my life to live with someone that I think this beginning age is me age. And I'm so freaking hyped to bring my friends over all the time when we go out on the weekend not have to figure out the whole uber situation like they can just stay over i can host dinner parties i can host my parents coming over for dinner my brother coming over like it's just gonna be so fun i'm so excited room decor like guys i love decorating my room but i don't think you understand how extra and hard i'm gonna go with decorating my literal home like are you kidding me thank you i'll talk to you guys when i get home This is what the car is looking like. It is filled with stuff. My dirty shoes, well, so much stuff. After like three days of packing all my stuff, tonight is the first night I'm gonna be sleeping in my apartment, but it's gonna be in the next video. Well, actually not in the next one, in like three from now. Ooh. Bye. Guys, it's happening. The real deal. My mom's like really crying. How sad. I, okay, that sounded really unsympathetic, but I am really sad. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and are ready for the next upcoming videos. I literally have like three videos pre-filmed, so be excited. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later, but I'm literally crying. This is so sad.